Hi friend, my name is Pushpendra. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. In last video, I have tell you how you can insert data into the database. Okay, and how you can read that. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can update that data. Okay. And one more thing we will do that today. Also, we will cover the delete operation. Okay, so okay guys, for updating the query, I have to insert one more function. And before inserting that function, we have to set all these data to our uh, editing screen. Okay, I will edit with the same screen. So here I will set all that all that data what we have created. Okay, so for that what I need to do, I'll go to calculation controller, sorry AVG controller, and here here you can see we have already created one function sorry one function did select row so here what we have to do I will pass that uh, list okay I'll pass the list and we have to set controller dot list equals equals list of index path dot row and it's called list so this list we have to pass through and inside our calculation controller we will validate with configure table and this is my configure table here I'll check if list dot is empty then I'll call configure table okay and that's all and one more thing because this configure table function is running from plus button as well okay so what I need to do let's say I'll take one boolean variable status bool if it's true and we can say or status then we will call this function and from where we have to pass from here we have to pass true true okay and from here we will pass false so now let's see average 4 and um, here you can see the data came already here if I click on plus then it's working nice minus and same minus so here you can see now what I'm going to do here is uh, uh, one more thing we have to take we have to adapt the ID okay so I'll take first I will check my ID type what is the type of ID sorry grade id is type of integer okay so i'll take id inside my calculation controller i'll call that where id type int by default we will take minus one okay and here uh, this is the function if id double equals minus one then it means it's a new record else here we have to update so now insert go to here and here we will create one function which is function update and here we will pass id okay and id will be our integer type and we'll take more thing what data we have to update so we have to update name result average and list so i'll copy all these thing and i'll paste here great now now in same way we will write a query let query equals update grade set name here we will pass name result we will pass result 
average we will pass average and list string we have to calculate in same way how we was doing here so copy and paste from insert function so this is the complete query now same function we have to call with opaq pointer that's great now here at the end now this function will execute okay because our query already have a data so this is the query and here i'll call data updated success data updated data is not updated okay so this is my function for updating the database okay now i will call this function from calculation controller which is same function or we can say self dot db dot update with id which is self dot id and name same to same so i'll copy and paste from here to here so it's here now let's see the output is it working as expected or not first of all i will change first row and here i'll type the name actually na name is not setting so i need to set name also so here i'll take one more parameter where name and its type of string that's great name already is there sub name now self if id same condition we will put if i did double equals to or we can say not equal to minus 1 then self dot name dot text equal self dot name sub name so this is the query and uh, i'll pass from here as well so controller dot id equals list of index same index path dot row dot id sorry id and controller dot name uh, sub name equals uh, list of index of path index path dot row dot name so it will be like that yeah so here i will run and we will see the output and one more thing configure table configure table is calling from on view did load so i'll call it from on view will appear okay so here it is now we will see average 4 i'm take 5 here you can see now i will change the text with and i will say it's second semester or i'll just put b tech b tech okay now calculate result data updated success if i'll go back then b tech and 1.73 it should come here here you can see btec gpa 1.73 so our update data functionality is working as expected now at the end is delete query okay so we have to delete this record okay so how we can perform this operation first of all we have to make there is one function for a table can edit can edit a row so this you have to return true okay for delete i have to add two more function which is here and here i will remove that uh, we can say uh, list dot remove at index path dot row okay 
so it's it has been removed now uh, we also need to remove this from the uh, database okay now what we have to do for that so same db helper we will create one more function called as delete here i'll pass which id i have to delete which id row we have to delete okay now here we have to write the query for delete let query equals to delete from grade where id equals and this will be our id so up to here it's okay now this will be the same data delete success data not delete so this is delete function now i will see the output it is working or not i have to call this from avj controller so here i will call that db uh, self dot db dot delete and here we have to pass the id id we will get list sorry list of index dot row dot id so this is like that now we will see that it is working or not bridge 4 here and deleted data delete success okay delete now if i open again then only four record is there so delete also is working so guys data our database operation has been completed in this complete tutorial if you have any doubt and you want any special topic please comment it to the comment box please give thumbs up after click on like button and also subscribe my youtube channel because on my youtube channel you will find a lots of video related to swift development and with the very easy trick so Please follow this channel and please click on the bell icon so you will be updated with the new video as well as its key. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Bye bye.